Around 12.45, we were notified of a woods fire uh, and we had units respond. Uh, upon our arrival, we uh, came up to the Little Eagle Mountain yeah. Road. Uh, we found it progressing rapidly up the hill. Uh, we had to call mutual aid. We had uh, units from Clarksville and Tallulah Falls respond as well, along with the Georgia Forestry, of course, and uh, were able to get it cut off at this location. Well, it was kind of smoky down below our house and I looked out the window and there were flames just right across the street here, a couple feet high, and the fire was coming up the hill. And it really kind of moved kind of fast. Um, uh, my wife called the fire department, but somebody else already had two. And then uh, they were here within five or 10 minutes and got right on it. So uh, it started to just come across the road, but uh, they got it before it did that. So we're very grateful for that, for sure. My wife was in the front yard. She came back to the back and said, uh, I think we got a fire going on. And I just brushed it off. I said, well, it's down the hill. She went back to the front, came back about five minutes later, and she said, I'm, I'm caught on. She said, I can see it. And I saw it, and it just obviously originated way down the hill. And the wind and everything, and with the leaves and the trees, just brought it up the hill. I got all the hose I had, 250 feet, and a little ember uh, came over, and I had to knock down a little small section, but that was it. But otherwise, it didn't come across the roads. So we're very grateful for that. But they were very quick when they came out here and got to work. How long have you lived here? 19 years. Have you ever had anything like this happen Not this before? close. Nope, not this close. So uh, a wonderful thing about being in a rural area, but always a little bit scared of this with the uh, national forest right there and, and the the weather conditions and the wind today so uh, we're just grateful it got uh, it wasn't worse than it was less than 30 minutes after the fire was considered under control there's been another flare up and it's burning here in the woods firefighters are still on the scene and they're pulling in lines to knock this fire out but you can see in this short amount of time how quickly these fires spread in this type of weather. It's only gonna get to 50 or so tonight, which means there's no moisture tonight, no moisture in the morning. Right. So we're gonna get the dozer again, bring it back. We're gonna come off the hill right here. Okay. And I'm going to try to get you to back in, kind of over those clippings, kind of back where the big ball line was, and grab all those clippings and push them all okay. over there somewhere. Yeah. So right now we just kind of got a compromise. I got you. Here you go. Once it's got black in it, it's been, it's got coals in it. I don't trust it. I don't, that's right. We don't trust it now. So I got you. Do you all know yet what caused this fire? We do not. With the red flag warning still in effect through this evening, is there any danger of this starting back up again? Well, that's why we're going to uh, remain out here and make sure that we've got all the hot spots knocked down, make sure everything's good and wet, and uh, we'll probably be checking in on it throughout the evening just to make sure nothing is an area of concern. The main thing is there's no loss of life and uh, nobody lost any property. Of course, you all worked something similar out off of Talmadge Drive yesterday in the Hollywood area. What would you like to say to the community as we're going through these dry, windy days? Oh, you just have to be extremely careful. There's a reason we're not issuing burn permits uh, because this right here can happen very quickly and uh, it, it causes uh, the potential for loss of life and property and nobody wants that.